today we are going to discuss ICSC standard 9 physics and in my first video I was discussing about the first chapter in which we have discussed the types of motion and we have also discussed the parameters that are that describes the type of motion or the motion of a body in the first video we have started the learning about distance and displacement what is the difference between distance and displacement and we have also done the numerical problem on that distance and displacement so the other parameters are speed and velocity the speed is defined as the rate of change of distance with respect to time is called speed so whenever we talk about the rate of any physical quantity means that physical quantity must be divided by time so speed is equal to distance by time velocity there is a very simple difference very small difference between speed and velocity if you look at the definition of velocity the rate of change of displacement with respect to time is called velocity where is the difference in speed the rate of distance is called speed and rate of displacement is called velocity so velocity is equal to displacement by time so after taking the definition of speed and velocity we can take two important points the first point is speed is a scalar quantity but velocity is a vector quantity why speed is a scalar quantity because in speed we have divided distance by time and distance is a scalar quantity that's why speed is also a scalar quantity and velocity is equal to displacement by time and displacement is a vector quantity that's why velocity is a vector quantity if we talk about the SI unit of speed and velocity both have the same unit and which is meter per second and in short it can be written as meter m per second or meter second inverse so the other physical quantity that describes the motion is acceleration so we will discuss the acceleration so after speed and velocity we are going to discuss acceleration and retard disc if you see the definition of acceleration the rate of change of velocity with respect to time is called acceleration so if we want to write the acceleration mathematically it is equal to acceleration is equal to change in velocity by change in time so in short a is equal to delta v by delta t delta v represents the change in velocity the delta symbol is used for change in any physical quantity and delta t represents the change in time retardation negative acceleration is called retardation suppose a body is moving whose velocity is increasing then change in velocity comes positive and that positive acceleration is called only simply acceleration but if a body whose velocity keep on decreasing and if we calculate the change in velocity then change in velocity comes as negative and that negative acceleration is called retard this now from the definition we can draw two important point about the acceleration the first one is acceleration is a vector quantity and the second point is the SI unit of acceleration is meter per second square because if we want to find out the unit of acceleration then we have to divide the velocity by time and the SI unit of velocity is meter per second and again when it is divided by time it is equal to the meter per second square or in short it can be written as meter per second square or meter second to the power minus 2 so these are the parameters distance, displacement, speed, velocity, acceleration, retardation these are the parameters that describes the motion of a body they are able to tell how a body is moving now mathematically to describe a motion we have certain equations we have three equations of motions that can describe the type of motion of a body how the body is moving what is the acceleration what is the retardation how much displacement it is covering how much time it is taking in during its motion 
all are governed by these simple equations of motion and we will discuss it in this video after this acceleration and retardation. So after the discussion of the parameters that can describe the motion of a body, we have three mathematical equations that are called equations of motion. Equations of motion. These equations of motions are the relationship between the para different parameters of a body in motion. There are three types of equations of motion. The first one is V is equal to U plus AB. The second one is S is equal to UT plus half AT square. And the third one is V square is equal to U square plus 2AS. So these are the three equations of motion and in these equations what are these variables let us describe one by one here u is called initial velocity initial velocity v is called final velocity t is called time a is called acceleration and S is called displacement. Displacement. So all these three equations contain these variables and the description of these variables are given here. So these three equations are very much of importance in order to find the unknown parameters of a body in motion. We have from where these equations come, what are the derivations, we will discuss it one by one. So derivation of equations of motion. And the derivation of equation of motion are of two types. The first derivation is the analytical derivation and the second derivation is graphical derivation. And we will derive these equations of motion by both the methods. First, let us derive these equations one by one by analytical method. Analytical method means by the method of simple definitions. Derivation of equation of motion by analytical method. Let us derive the first equation of motion which is V is equal to U plus AG. So the derivation of first equation of motion starts with the definition of acceleration and if we write the acceleration in our mathematical form then A is called delta V by delta T means change in velocity by change in time. If a body have a final velocity v and initial velocity u, then what is the change in velocity? The change in any physical quantity is determined by subtracting the initial value from the final value. So if we want to calculate the change in velocity, then we have to find out the difference between final velocity and initial velocity. So delta v can be written as v minus u and delta t is equal to t. We can write this equation as v minus u is equal to a t. Send this minus u from LHS to RHS then v is equal to u plus a t and in this way the first equation is derived.
here we have cos equation v is equal to u plus a t. This is the very simple derivation. So let's derive the second equation of motion. Suppose a body is started moving with the initial velocity u and after certain time t it reaches to velocity v. So if we want to calculate the average velocity of that body then average velocity average velocity is equal to final velocity plus initial velocity by 2. In short, if we will try to write it, V average is equal to U plus V by 2. So displacement of the body can be equal to displacement Displacement is equal to V average into time. So S is equal to V average into time and V average is equal to U plus V by 2. U plus V by 2 into T. S is equal to. So if we use V is equal to U plus A T in the place of V, then we can write u is equal to v v is equal to u plus a t by 2 into t so s is equal to 2 u plus a t by 2 into t s is equal to if we separate these two s is equal to 2u by 2 plus a t by 2 into t s is equal to u plus a t by 2 into t if we open the bracket u t plus half a t square so this is how the equation of or second equation of motion is derived. Now, 